Hi guys, I'm Steph. Thank you so much for checking out my channel today. I can't believe that I haven't done a project plan update since June. I am so sorry. I totally meant to do one before I started my travels in August and then time just got away from me and I just got busy and other videos ideas came up and yeah. So here we are in October with my project plan update. I think uh, at this point I'm just going to do one more update in six weeks and then I'll just do the finale at the end of the year. If you like project pans then make sure you subscribe because I have a few other project pans going on on my channel and I think I'm going to be starting another one shortly. Let me know if you would like to see that. So this is the finish 18 in 2018 and up until this point I had been rolling products into the project but because we are in the last quarter of the year I don't really think that there's anything I could add in at this point that I'm going to finish so I'm just not going to be adding any more products in from this point onwards. So starting with the products I did finish which brings the total number of products finished in this project 14 which is so exciting. So first thing I finished up was the e.l.f. lip scrub just to show you where I was last time. So I'm not sure if you can see the line, I was right there so I just had a little itty bit left and I finished it off. I actually ended up like digging in because I wanted to get as much product out. I really like this product. I'm really happy that I finished it up. I do have two more lip scrubs in my collection but they're both in pots. I really like the idea that this comes in a two, it just makes it so much easier for application. The second product I finished up was the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. So here are my marks on my back. When I first put in this project I was about halfway through. And then my last update, I was right here, and I finished it up pretty quickly. It's a very fine setting powder for under eyes, but when it actually comes to cost per gram, there's only 1.2 grams in here, and even though it's only a few dollars when you buy like a Laura Mercier or like the peach, Too Faced peach one, those are just like some of my favorites that I have right now, even though they're more expensive, the cost per gram is actually better. So I don't see myself repurchasing something like this in the future, but I'm happy to have finished up like a little loose powder and I really didn't use to set my eyes with the loose powder and this really made me fall in love with it as did testing out some of my other powders. So I'm happy to kind of have that as part of my routine. I don't really do like baking under the eye, I just don't really, I haven't really tested it out yet, but that might be something I try in the future which would definitely help me go through my loose powders a lot faster. And the last product I finished up this update is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I'm so happy. This has been in the project since the beginning. Same with the lip scrub. And I finally finished it. Hopefully you guys can see the inside. I scraped all the way to the bottom. I am I was like going in there with a makeup brush at the end, just an eyeshadow brush, like swirling it around trying to get all the last bit of product out. So this is the second foundation I finished in this project and it was my tools foundations in my collection so I'm really happy that I was able to clear this one out. This is a few years old at this point and I'm not sure if it went off or the formula changed or if I've just tried new foundations because that was like maybe only the second foundation I ever purchased in my life. So I wasn't such a fan of it this time around. I just felt it was like very thick and I noticed it oxidizing but I remember when I first got it I loved it so much so I don't know if the formulas changed or my tastes have changed but I don't think it's something I would see myself picking up again, but I'm really happy to have finished a foundation which makes two for the year. So for these next few products, I will insert my most recent update, what the product looked like. So first we have my Smashbox blush, and I repressed this about halfway through the project. It's in the shade Prism. I really like this blush, but since repressing it, I feel like I can't see any progress. I've worn away like the imprint from the paper towel I used but that's pretty much it. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to hit Pam again before the end of the year. This product is like never lasting. Just to give you a reference, this blush is 10 grams, which is so much. And I didn't realize that was like such a large amount of blush until I looked at my other blushes. But here we are. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this before the end of the year. I wear it every single day. And I just, I don't see it happening. But I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep wearing it every single day the end of 2018. So hopefully it'll happen, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Another product that has been in since the beginning is the Benefit Cabrow, and here I was at my last update. And here I am now, I'm not sure if you can tell, I kind of have like a little line going here. I have realized I hate this product. 
I do not think brow pomades are my thing. Initially when I first put this in the project, I thought this was a sample size because I got it in a kit the year before. But it actually turns out it's the full size and it is taking me forever to get through. And like I said, I really don't like it. Every time I wear this, like I just don't think I know how to do pomades because you guys always tell me how bad my brows look when I use this. I'm not wearing it today and since dyeing my hair, it's I really don't think it goes. And I tend to wear it when I'm wearing glasses because my glasses are big and you can't really see my brows. Like, that's really the only way I'm getting through it, but just on a daily basis, it's not something I'm reaching for. Like, when I first started this project, I was doing it every day, and it's just, I really don't like it. But I'm going to try to amp up, make a bit more progress. It would be nice if I could actually hit the bottom at least because I haven't even done that yet. Next is my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, and here I am now. This was in a project previously this year, just a Project 5 pan. All I wanted to do was hit pan, and I've been using it, and I decided to put it into this project, I think, last update, I believe. And, yeah, I'm making some nice progress on it. I really don't think I'm going to have any trouble finishing up this before the end of the year. Next is my ColourPop Super Shock Cheek matte bon voyage it's the bronzer this is what it looked like last time and honestly it's going to look like my progress has regressed because this is what it looks like now honestly like most of the time it was like a huge pan with all the product on the outside and I originally I was just like putting my finger in it wiping it around like the edges of my face wherever I wanted the bronzer and then blending it out with a brush and lately I've been sticking like a kabuki brush in it kind of a flat top kabuki going in and then going so I had to kind of keep moving all the product back to the middle so I could actually use a brush in it and I keep hitting pan keep moving it back so it's like a very like smushy product if you're not familiar with this formula it moves around like very easily it's kind of like putty almost so yeah it looks like I have made progress but I've been using it every day and yeah I, I think I'll be able to finish it I'm really hopeful I'll be able to finish it this product is also from the beginning of the year this is the elf it's just the eyeshadow primer and when I look in, I don't see any product on the side. Like, it's really a small hole. It's very hard to show you guys. And honestly, like, there there doesn't seem to be any much. So I'm going to be taking the stopper out finally. So I'm happy that I've reached the point where I'll be taking the stopper out. And hopefully by the next update, this could be done. That would be super exciting. So I have finished off two foundations this year. And this is now the oldest foundation in my collection. This is the 17BB All-in-One Magic Makeup. It's a blemish balm. And when I first put it in this project, I was just right here. I'm not sure if you can really see the markings. It's hard on black packaging. I tried to use a purple Sharpie, but I'm not really sure it's showing up. So this is where I was, and this is where I am. I'm surprised it's only gone down so little, given that I have worn this, like, I want to say, like, five or six times. But I'm hoping I can just, like, finish up that last little bit. This is quite pinkish, and even though it's in the lightest shade, it is kind of dark for me. So I would like to use it up before... All my tan goes away, which like it kind of already has, but hopefully I can fake it just for like higher neck shirts and finish this off before my next update. I think this is something if I really put my mind to it, I can finish it up before the next update. Next is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. And when I first put in this product, I was here and I am now all the way down here. I have somehow managed to fill this with air. I was like playing around with it, trying to figure out how much was left. And then I ended up just filling it with air. But I shone my flashlight through and there's a lot of gaping, a lot of product just like on the, like slivering down the side, but not like everywhere all around. So I'm guesstimating it's about right here, but I really think with, and I use this every single day, and I really think I could finish this up by the next update. So I think I just put this into the project last time. This was the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10. I thought I was here. Well, this is where I marked it. But I am now all the way down here, and in fact, I think I might be a little bit lower, but there's lots of gaping everywhere. I hope you guys can tell. This is where, like, the last gape is, but I really think it is a bit lower. And I, this is a bit darker. It's actually, like, quite yellow and probably darker than my complexion. It might match me right now because of my tan. Just to give you guys an idea, this is, like, the shade of it. So it almost perfectly matches me, but I wanted this as an under eye one, and I went with 10 because usually, like, the lowest number is lightest shade, but 15 was actually the lightest shade, which is fair. But now I think they've expanded it, so there's an even lighter shade. Either way, not the lightest shade in the collection when I purchased it or now. So I used this a few times to darken up some of my foundations because most of my foundations are the fair shade, which fits me like the majority of the year, except maybe for like the one month when I actually got my tan. So 
this really helped me darken them up so they matched me a little bit better. And the other day, I actually just ended up dotting this all over my face and using it a foundation, which I actually really liked. So I'm thinking I'm going to continue using it like that. I just had this little bit left. I just want to use it up because I don't want to be keeping it in my collection until next summer because I know I will not be using it in the winter. So in this project, I already finished one fragrance and I brought in another. This is the Bebe, I don't know what it is. It's just like their Eau de Perfume. So when I first put it in, I had worn it a few times just to make sure I liked it. And this is where I am now. So that is about two and a half months of use. This is only 20 milliliters, so I don't understand how people get like scent burn, I think, and I think it's only like 30 milliliters, whatever, or 15, I don't know, and it's supposed to last for like 30 days, like this is 20 milliliters, and it's, I wear it every single day, so I do not know, I didn't take it with me when I went traveling, so I guess that's three weeks I didn't wear it, but other than that, I'm pretty much wearing it every day. Regardless, I'm clearly going to be finishing that before the next update, which is very exciting. So because I know I'm going to be finishing this off, and I'm not rolling any th other things into this project, but I still want to be working on my fragrances. I think that once I finish this product, I'm going to start a perfume sample project because I have a lot of those like little itty bitty perfume samples that I just tend to gather and I really like them, but then I don't use them because I'm trying to paint other fragrances. So I think it would be really nice to end the year with that sample perfume project and just get some of those little ones out of my collection. If you want to hear about that project, then make sure you subscribe. So you get to see when I start that one. So now onto the paper with the markings. First right here we have the NYX white eyeliner and as you can see I made a lot of progress but like I told you this has been uh, like two months since my last update but I have really been using it a lot more. I really don't think there's any way I'm going to be finishing it before the end of the year. I don't know why it takes me so long to use eyeliners. I, I don't know. I don't sharpen them very regularly I guess. Like I sharpen them when I need to but not more than I need to and yeah but I don't think I've ever got an eyeliner this small before so that in and of itself is pretty exciting. I still have the Annabelle one I mean I'll show it to you but I haven't made a marking on this since my second update. As you can see I had the intro first update second update and haven't made a marking since. I've used it a few times not enough to sharpen it and the reason the black hasn't been my focus is because where I would usually use black I've been using this eggplant shade this is in the Rimmel Scandalize in Aubergine. So here you can see the marking. I made quite a bit of progress since the last one and I definitely think I can finish this in the year. So at least that will be one eyeliner in my collection, which will be nice. This is this is probably the, might be the oldest eyeliner in my collection, so it would be really nice if I could finish this one off. So really my focus is just finishing the purple. I'm not even worrying about the black. It would be really nice to get a black eyeliner in my collection, but that might just have to be next year's problem. I have made a lot of progress on this next product. This is the Benefit what, what, Watts? Watts Up. I don't know why I can never say it. Anyways, look at how much progress there is from the last update. Yay! So this was very slow going for me, as you can see. But since I finished off the hard candy, it was a brow gel on one side and a like highlighter on the other. And I would use that to like highlight. It was like a stick highlighter. And I would use it under my brow bone. And it was really nice. So, and before I was just using this just on my cheeks, but now I do like a little like sign on my cheeks, eyebrow, nose, obviously other cheek too. And so, yeah, I seem to be going through it a lot faster. I don't know if finishing it within a year is going to be possible, but I'm really going to try. But I really do love this product. At first, I wasn't so sure. Sometimes I thought it was a bit too dark for me. And how I do now is I. I put it on and then I tend to put my just like setting powder over it because it is a cream product and then I go with another highlight over top and it just, it really makes other highlighters look so beautiful and I kind of love layering the cream with the powder. I think it gives a very nice look. So I found a way to use it and enjoy it which makes me really happy. The next two products are lip products so you're not going to see much progress because I do have my lip challenge going on. I'll link the playlist down below in case you're interested but pretty much I'm trying to get through every single lip product in my collections. So that means wearing it once and then putting it away and not touching it until I wear every other lip product. So I just wore this one in the, my most recent lip challenge. So until I get through the other products, I won't be touching this one again, which means I might not be touching this till December. So as you can see, there's not too much. I did make a little bit of progress. So I'll show that to you. 
So here I am. I made a tiny little bit of progress. So that's nice. That was just one day of use. I did a lot of reapplying because I did know it was in my project. But as you can see, I just had this little bunch left. And I think if I get through everything else and I'm using this by December, I'm going to be very optimistic that I can actually finish this. And my last product is my NUA Anti-Bleed Lip Liner. So this is just a lip liner without any color. So it's really great for pairing with anything, which is why I originally put it in this project. So as you can see, there's like a tiny little bit of a marking, but like basically no difference since the last update. And because of my lip challenge, I am obviously not really getting use out of this right now, which is unfortunate, but I do think once I get through all my lip pencils, I'm going to start bringing this back into rotation, even if I'm not through all my other lip products yet, because if I'm just wearing a liquid lip, it doesn't really change my impression of the product if I wear this lip liner. At least that's what I think. I do only have four more lip liners to wear before I've gone through all my lip liners, so hopefully this one will be back in rotation soon and I can make some good progress on it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be updating this project again in six weeks and hopefully I can get a lot more of these products moved out. I can't believe like I've stopped rolling them in. I have 14 finished. Like I just want to finish four, 18 products by the end of the year, so that only means I have four more to go. So hopefully I can do it. I would consider this project a success if I just hit the goal of 18. So it would be really awesome because I know there's some products in here where it's just not going to happen. So I'm glad I've been rolling stuff in along the way because since the beginning of the year, I just wanted to hit that 18 mark, especially because this is actually like the first project plan I ever started. So I'm really happy to see the progress and know that I'm still working on these products 10 months into the year. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day or night wherever you are. Bye.